To solve for these expressions, we have to apply our order of operations, which is bed mass. We have B, which stands for brackets, E, which stands for exponents, D for divide, M for multiply, A for add, and S for subtract. So now that we know bed mass, we can carry on with our first problem, which is 3 plus 4 times 2. Now we go through our list. Our expression does not have any brackets, it doesn't have any exponents, no division, but it does have multiplication. So that means we have to do that our multiplication first, where 4 times 2 is 8, and 3 plus 8 is 11. And that's it for our first question. Next, we move on to 8 minus 6 divided by 3. So we go through the list again, and we can see that there are no brackets, no exponents, but there is division. So that means you have to do division first. 6 divided by 3 is 2, so we have 8 minus 2 to get a final answer of 6. Our next question is 12 over 4 plus 3 times 2. So as we can see, this problem has division and multiplication, so that means we have to apply these from left to right. So from left, 12 divided by 4 gives us 3, and then to the right is 3 times 2, which gives us 6. So 3 plus 6 gives us a final answer of 9. And now we move on to 2 plus 2 times 5. This question only has addition and multiplication, so we know that multiplication comes before addition. So we do 2 times 5, which gives us 10, and then we add on 2 to get a final answer of 12. And then moving on to the next question, we have 18 minus 24 divided by 6 plus 3 times 5. Now we see this problem has no brackets, no exponents, but it does have division and multiplication. So that means we have to go from left to right. So first we have to do 12, 24 divided by 6, which gives us 4. So we have 18 minus 4 plus 3 times 5, which is 15. And now we're left with addition and subtraction, which we do from left to right again. 18 minus 4 gives us 14 plus 15, and we're left with the final answer of 29. Now we're moving on to 10 minus 8, all in brackets, times 4, divided by 2 times 4. So now we can see this problem does have brackets in it, so that means we have to deal with the brackets first. So 10 minus 8 gives us 2, times 4, divided by 2, times 4. So now we're just left with division and multiplication, which we carry on from left to right. So first, we have to do this 2 times 4, which gives us 8. And then 8 divided by 2 times 4, we carry on left to right again, which is 8 divided by 2. So we're left with 4 times 4, which gives us a final answer of 16. Our next question is 3 plus 2, all in brackets, times 6 minus 4, all in brackets. So we have to do our brackets first. So 3 plus 2 is 5, times 6 minus 4 is 2. And now we're just left with 5 times 2, which is 10. For our final question, we have 3 plus 2, all in brackets, times 6 minus 4, all in brackets again, plus 2. So again, we have to do our brackets first. So we do 3 plus 2 and 6 minus 4. 3 plus 2 is 5, times 6 minus 4 is 2, plus 2. And then we do multiplication before division. So 5 times 2 is 10, and 10 plus 2 gives us a final answer of 12.